Hi, today we're going to review the basics of a pre-trip inspection when you get ready to use a bucket truck heading out to the field. And this should be done pretty much every, every time you're getting ready to head out in the field. So we're going to start with a few basics. One of the things that you always got to re remember is that the truck has been tested from the manufacturer based on everything being the standard. So tire pressure needs to be good. Uh, they test it on a five degree slope for the weight of the bucket. So keep that in mind when you're setting up your truck to begin with. If it's on flat ground, then that's good. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with tire pressure. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we check the tire pressure for all the tires, front and rear. Front and then the rear. Once we establish that the tire pressure is at the correct uh, levels, then we're gonna go ahead and start working on the chassis and to make sure that everything's safe there. So we'll open up the hood. And we're going to make sure that we check all of the fluid levels and make sure that everything is, is working and that we don't have any leaks or any, any problems with the chassis itself. Next we're going to take a look underneath. Trucks that don't have outriggers are equipped with stabilizing bars so you'll see that down here below. We want to make sure that all the screws and all the bolts are still fastened tightly. We also want to make sure that when we're looking underneath the vehicle that there's nothing hanging down from the frame, nothing that we've run over that's, that could be a problem when we're using the truck. Okay, once we've established all the fluid levels and everything is set on the chassis, the next thing we're going to do is do a quick evaluation on the boom. And it's basically just a visual evaluation at this point. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at all the hoses, the fittings, Make sure that all the hoses, none of them are leaking, that everything's set there. Take a quick visual around the boom, make sure nothing's hanging down from that, as you can see. Next, next we're gonna make sure that there's no cracks in the bucket, that everything's functioning properly there. Again, we're gonna finish the visualization on the other side of the boom, and make sure that all the bolts are there and that nothing is missing. Once we've done the visual, visual inspection, check the fluid levels on the chassis, the next thing we're gonna do is do a setup on the truck itself and get ready to go, go up and do some work. The first thing that we wanna do is make sure that the parking brake, the brake is set and that we're in park. So the parking brake's set, we're engaged in park. The next thing we're gonna do is come down and make sure we get the wheel chock set. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that we wheel, uh, put the chocks properly in the front and the back your preference is, is up to you. The, but we want to make sure that we have a wheel chock in the front and the rear of the tire. Whether you do it on opposing sides, it doesn't really matter. Now keep in mind that we've, we want to the, the truck has been tested on a five degree slope. So if you're more than a five degree slope, you got to be careful how you use the truck and how you're using the boom and work into the hill. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have a proper harness and lanyard. Okay, now that we're done with our visual inspection of the truck and the boom, now we're going to do an actual function check of the boom before we head up. First thing we want to do is make sure that we have a proper harness and lanyard that's certified and approved by OSHA. And then we're going to go ahead and jump in the truck in the bucket, and we're going to take small functions of the bucket, each left, right, up, down in and out, make sure that everything is working properly. Once we've established that everything's working properly, now we're ready to go ahead and go up and roll. Okay, now that we've properly engaged the harness and lanyard to the, to the boom itself, we're ready to go ahead and start doing some of the functions for the boom. Again, we want to do small steps at a time, not go straight up so in case there's a problem. So we want to take it up, down, stab out, Stab in, we'll raise it up a little bit more, and then we want to go make sure that we're clear of everything, and we want to go left, and then also to the right. Now that we know that all the functions are ready to go, now we can be prepared to go up into our work zone and do the work for the day. So that concludes our pre-trip inspection. If you have any questions, we encourage you to visit our website at commercetruck.com. We thank you for coming and visit Commerce Truck and Equipment Sales here in Norco, California. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us through our website and or our phone number. Thank you.